Yo, what's going on guys? I am back with a new video. And in this video, I will be showing my Pokemon for trade slash sale. I've got a tin here because I don't have a binder right now temporarily. But yeah, this is my trade slash sale. Um, also, happy late Easter. I know it was yesterday, but I got some. I got like $9. Little Grace Rock. And a, a bunch of candy for Easter. So that was really fun. And yes, I will be showing my trade slash sale. So I also have a Evolutions Charizard Hollow. This is worth, I think, around 800 um, PSA. Obviously, this is not a PSA, but it is worth a decent amount. So I'm just going to have that up there. But as you can see, I also got a Battle Styles ETB. I like to use it in the background. Obviously, just your casual stuff. And I absolutely love these sleeves, so I will be taking these out. But yes, so put that in the background. These sleeves, I don't know. I haven't opened a ton of Pokemon recently, um, meaning in the past like year. Um, but yeah, these sleeves, I don't know if they just changed this with the new Battle Style set, but they are amazing. Um, and I'll be showing some of my cards. Before I get into the good cards, these are not for trade slash sale. I pulled a single strike or Shifu V Max. Very nice card. I love this card. Flapple V, and this was all in that. Flapple V. Hollow or Beetle. Hollow Sandaconda. Reverse Rare Embor. Reverse Rare Drampa. And so that's it for the um, Battle Styles ETB, aka Elite Trainer Box. And as you can see, I love the texture. If you haven't got one of these, it's really hard to see, but all the old ETB boxes always had really plasticky sleeves, and I kind of hated them. Um, like these sleeves right here, as you can see. Obviously, this is in a little um, like plastic. Forget the name right now, but yeah. I love this card a lot, so I'll be putting these in the background because those are my more recent pulls from the ETB. So we're just going to be putting some of my best cards there. Obviously, Flapple isn't very good. It's just a recent pull, and I have sleeves right here. I was kind of impulsive. I didn't want to do it on camera, so I got this card and this card from that with all, along with all of these, which I'll be setting aside. But now I'm going to open my tin off camera for a second. For all of my trade slash sale cards so to start it off i have this charizard reverse rare i don't know if this is going to be worth trade or sale i don't even know how much it is worth i just got it a long time ago this is a blissey from the tin it's a promo or not a promo but like you know it's in the front of the tin so almost like a promo got a diancy hollow i just pulled these recently reverse foul plume got some older cards Straptor, Primeape, Drowsy, Weeping Bow. I know this one's expensive. It's in all of these are in bad condition, but in good condition, this is worth like thirty. So, Golduck, I think at least Nidoran. But yeah, we'll set those aside. Those are just some of my older cards. I have a lot in this video, so stay tuned. Um, please leave a comment or a Instagram DM um for any of these you can also do my discord if you guys want but instagram dms are the easiest for me or the youtube comments i just it's hard to keep track of them sometimes so we've got a sogaleo or sogaleo i've never known gold card lunala gold ultra necrozma gold got a evolutions hollow nine tails this one's worth like 13 last time i checked but I don't know. I really like the cards I threw in there. Got a Surfing Pikachu. I just pulled this one a couple days ago. Tauros GX from the Sun and Moon base set. Got this in a tin, so that's pretty nice. Got a Mallow. Probably not going to trade with this, but yeah. Heat Factory Prism Star. Arceus Prism Star. Thunder Mountain Prism. Charmeleon shiny mega charizard ex evolutions 
Amphros GX. We got a Primaria GX Full Art promo card traded for that one. Cartana Full Art. Probably not going to trade this one because Ex Exeggutor is one of my favorite Pokemon. Got a Rowlet and a Lowland Exeggutor. Giratina Prism Star. Need to push that into a sleeve. Sylveon GX. Plumeria Full Art Trainer. Lunala Full Art GX. Feromosa and Buzzwell GX Ultra Beast Tag Team card. I don't know why the tag teams like didn't catch on very much. Kind of sad. Wigglytuff GX. Love this card. Alakazam EX. Mega Mewtwo EX. Also, um... I know I am, on, I'm not like one of those pro Pokemon players or whatever, you get me, but like, sorry for the background noise, my dogs are playing Chandler Full Art, but um, none of these are fake, I am very careful about that. Also, if you go to Target, you'll see these, um, these like, you know, two pack, and they're called um, Fairfield cards, don't buy those, those are repackaged uh, or fake. It can really range. Um, I've always known that, but I've known people... <sighs> My dogs won't shut up. Sorry about that. But I've known that for a long time, and I didn't know some people didn't. So I don't want like anyone watching this that's on the younger side to get tricked by that. Because technically, they can sell it. It's repackaged, though, so you're not going to get anything good. Most likely, they're probably either weighed or just plain old fake cards. I've definitely seen some fake ones. So yeah, the uh, most of my cards are in um, near mint or lightly played condition, depending on if I traded for them. Any cards that I pulled myself, though, um, I keep in very good condition, unless the ones that I name that are in bad condition. So yeah, and all of these that I know of are in good. If you want to trade for one, though, I'll definitely check and show you. Spally, Shaman, this is just a little pack of shiny energies. Nine Tails, Allen Challenge Amulet, pulled that one, Team Skull Grunt, pulled that one, Zabtos, and Volcanion. I pulled this in my first ever box of Pokemon, I think, or very close to my first ever box. Volcanion. Got some more cards, that is not even most of it, still got, it's probably a fourth of my cards. But yeah, um, don't buy Fairfield cards, they're trash, just don't. Don't get tricked by it. Um, again, this one is in bad condition. It's literally, this will come free with any order. Again, this is literally, I got this for free. Dude. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Um, I'll mainly be looking for, I'm probably not going to trade this either. I love Jigglypuff. Um, I'll mainly be probably looking for V cards. The I know that sounds weird, but the newest ones, such as these, mostly not like just base fees i do need a single strike or shifu v not v max because i need it to evolve obviously and i would like to have both of those so if you have it please please let me know because i'm really trying to get that one um but yeah um so if you are looking to uh trade for any of these cards i'm not super into trading a bunch of cards for one card but if you have a card, I really want... Also, this isn't for trade. I got this from... For, from... Sorry, God, I can't talk. From a giveaway. Small YouTuber. You won't know him, but... Um, they quit Pokemon, I think, which makes me super sad. Or at least, I think they deleted their channel. I don't know if they still open Pokemon, but... Pokemaster Gamer, if you're watching this, what's up, my dude? I still have your card. So, I doubt you watch me, but... <laughs> Type no holographic. Articuno shiny. These I know are worth a ton. Greninja shiny. These are in prime condition. Shining Lugia. This is about a hundred dollar card, even though it's a freaking promo. Uh, Steelix probably not going to trade this. Alakazam full art. Charizard and Breaks in tag team GX card. Shiny Metagross. This is a promo. Got a another promo card. Um, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno with the glass effect. This came in the ET 
B, if I can remember correctly. Yeah. Ah, oh, Tapu Lele, not trading this. That took a lot to trade for. How and Professor Kakui. Got Mega Gallade EX. Shiny Leaf Hound, probably not going to trade this either. It's going to be very, very hard to get this off of me. Mag uh, Magneton, Shiny. Guyslord, Shiny. On to more cards. Gal oh, Galissapod Hollow. Rainbow, Muck and Alolan Muck. Super Boost Energy Prism. Persian GX. Rare Candy. Now, I don't know how much this is worth, but no, it used to be worth a ton. <sighs> Kabutos. This is an older card. This is a 2006 Pokemon. Now, these can come in a pack if you want them to. This is the Evolutions. So, I have Shiny Ralts and Shiny Curlia. Obviously, you can see up there. Evolves from Ralts. So, yeah, if you want to trade for a pack, I can do that. Swablu. Shiny. Shiny Froakie. Shiny Matang. Queen Rainbow Rare. Shining Mew now. This is, again, it's going to be very hard to get off of me, but yeah. Also, I want to mention that I don't send first. I could possibly send uh, same time, but um, yeah. The Rainbow Birds. Um, I am not a scammer. I'm just a... Wait, hold on. Sorry. This one has water damage. Uh, probably no one wants this, so... Um, I just want to mention, I am not a scammer. I am disgusted by scammers. They're just... Yeah, I, I don't understand um, how people can just, like, get away with that and still feel good about themselves after. I would just feel terrible, so... Yeah. Oh, Lapras V. So, V card probably won't trade, but you can try. Like a rock rainbow... But I don't, yeah, it, I don't have, I haven't done many trades, but I have a lot of people that watch me, so if I did scam you, you know, call me out. Um, I'm inviting you to right now, if I did not trade. Um, uh, Xerneas, but yeah, I, I, is this from Shiny Legends? I think it is, I don't know. But, um, no, that's not, never mind, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I, I promise you I'm not a scammer. You want to ask my mom, all that stuff, if you want to go through that. Uh, Chestnut. Mega Pidgeot. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't like to send first, especially. The only time I would ever consider going first is if we're doing a very, like, cheap trade. Um, not a lot to trade for, like, a simple, like, hollow for hollow or whatever, which I don't do usually, but, you know. But yeah, oh, see these are upside down. Tyranitar, I'm gonna just go like this. Tyranitar, need to pop my fingers, yo. All right, Glossopod, Gyarados, Lugia, Heatran, Lysander Prism, Gumshoes, Entei, Rayquaza. I pulled this on camera if you go back to one of my videos uh, like two years ago, I was really little. Torkoal V. Tyranitar, Tapu Fini. This has a little bit of damage. I forget where. It might have a tiny crease somewhere. I think like right... Yeah, right there. There's a tiny crease. VS Seeker, Judge Whistle. Um, Grid Engine's work. Primaria. Togekiss. Gordivore. Hoopa. Groudon. Toxapex GX. Me uh, Altaria Full Art. Love this card. Gotta say, it's a really nice art. Breaks never caught on. They're always been, like, a 60-cent card. Like, they're not worth that much. Like, at least, they weren't a while ago. I haven't checked, but... Yeah, I don't know. Breaks never caught on. And it kind of sucks, to be honest. But if you look at a lot of breaks, there's not a ton of really good ones. Ultra Necrozma. This used to be worth a crap ton. I don't know what it has now, but, yeah. Yeah, here. Bridget. And this is the last of my cards. Let me know. Oh, not gonna trade this. Um, Mimic UV. 
Scyther EX, old EX card. This one's really sick. Probably won't trade that. Japanese, you too. But, um, yeah. Japanese tag team. Japanese Rayquaza. Ghost Pod. But, yeah. Uh, no, again, another break. If you read breaks, like, attach two energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon, it does 20 damage. Like, I don't know what to say about it. Like, it's a 2016 Pokemon, so I got this five years ago. But, yeah. Japanese Snorlax and Eevee. Uh, Corrupt EX. Got this card. Bought it. Another break card. Magearna and Zygarde. That's it for my collection. Um, if you guys are interested, please... Oh, I have one more card. Not going to trade it, though, but... Got a full-on gold rush around. Looking for the Zekrom, so if you have it, let me know. But, um, yeah. Um... As you can see, I'm very proud of this card. I pulled that. I don't know. This one, not as much. Still pulled it, though. And this... Wow. Very nice. Charizard holographic. This is in probably near mint condition. I'm going to pull it out to show you guys. If anyone is really good at, like, looking at the grades of cards, let me know what you think this would get. I don't think PSA is taking any orders right now, but... Try to show it the best as can. I think there's one tiny white dot there. But yeah, I'm very surprised it's even in this good a condition, um, knowing that I literally have had this since I was maybe eight, and I'm 12 now, so about four or five years. About to turn 13 in like three months, but yeah. Um, gotta tap this back into the top loader. But yeah, there we are. But yeah, love this card a lot. This is my favorite card I have at the moment. Very proud of pulling this. Ironically, I was watching an unboxing today, and so I got the Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. Um, Battle Styles, what is it called? ETB. And ironically, I got the red version, the Single Strike, not Rapid Strike. And I was watching an unboxing where they got the Single Strike box, and instead they pulled the rapid strike version which i'm pretty sure the difference is the rapid strike is more technical card and this one's pretty straightforward just discall all, discard all energies and it does 270 damage pretty much um so yeah beat down though very good attack literally only takes three of any energy and just does a straight up 100 damage with no other you know re requirifications or whatever i don't know what you want want to call it but requirements i guess but yeah very proud of pulling this card favorite card i have right now and this one is coming in a very very close second love this um but yeah let me just take a second while i'm wrapping up this video to say how much i adore these new sleeves if you take a look at I can't, you probably can't tell on camera unless you've opened these up and then obviously you know the texture is a really phenomenal I, it always bothered me you know that like shiny plasticky feel like it's on this card what card is it on that i can pull out all right here you go this is a burning shadows etb sleeve you can see the shiny feel that scratchy feeling so when you rub it you know that like just i, I don't like it it bothers me but when you have, you know, two of these sleeves, you can go. It's kind of more of just like, it obviously still makes noise. But it's like more clean. I don't know. I don't like that noise. But I love these new sleeves that Pokemon has decided to make. I'm really excited about that one. And the whole battle style set here, I'll bring these up. The whole battle style set is just really good. Close up on that Charizard. Beautiful, beautiful card. But yeah, a close up on the Battle Styles box here. I love what they've done. If you can't see this on camera, it's shiny. So yeah, we got the sides. Just a Pokemon trading card game with the Battle Styles on each side. I like what they've been doing with this. I don't know, I like that design. It's pretty neat. But yeah. I really do like what they've done with Pokemon cards lately and what they've changed in the past year or two since I've been collecting more. Um, 
I've been collecting Pokemon for probably around three to four years, probably going on four years now. And I have spent probably way too much money on Pokemon cards, to be honest. But it brings me joy. I was, I had one of the best days I've had in a very long time. Yesterday, pulling these, all of these cards we have again. All of these. And yeah, it just brought me a lot of joy. I know this card's probably worth like 20 to 30. I've also seen some go for like 70 to 100. But um, it's the prices are only going to go up the more these are harder to find. And funny story, how I got this beautiful box with all these beautiful cards inside is actually, if you live in Oregon, I live in Portland, Oregon, so I go to a place called the Rainy Day Games. Go check them out. Not sponsored by them or anything, but they are great. I've been going there for years. <clears throat> And they actually sold me this Battle Styles box for $65. It sounds like a lot, but with the shortage, at least where I live, it's insane to find Pokemon cards anywhere now. And so, yeah. Um, but definitely, uh, so how I even got them because there's such a shortage lately is actually that someone pre-ordered or ordered one of these Battle Styles boxes from them. And actually flaked out on it and didn't buy it what i heard from mike the card owner is that actually um turns out that they bought a bunch of these pokemon cards on amazon instead of their shop even though they literally ordered they waited three week they waited three weeks for a reply never got it so that's kind of honestly disappointing in the person if you're not gonna buy it let them know so they can make their money but anyways it's been sitting on their shelf for a couple weeks now and i got it for 65 dollars. i expected honestly a lot more because of the shortage but yeah i think they were originally probably listed as 50 and went up the 15 because of the shortage um but yeah i am really excited about pulling these cards really hyped right now so yeah hoping to find more pokemon cards today I will open them on camera, so stay tuned for that. I don't know if I'll get any today. I don't even know if I can go to the store, but hopefully I can. I'm off school today, so that's pretty sick. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, please let me know, obviously, a little bit off camera. Um, I have all those cards there. So if you are interested, please let me know. I'm really wanting to trade lately. But again, I don't usually go first. Um, very rarely do. My mom's also skeptical about it. Same with me. Um, but yeah, let me know. Um, those are all my cards. I'm trying to be more professional about this channel. Go check out my other channel. It's just Pluffy G again. It's the same as this channel, but it also has um, like 1.2, um, sorry, 1.02 uh, subs, right? Oh, 1.02 K subscribers just hit a thousand recently about like a month or two ago. Um, and this channel obviously has like 64 subscribers, I think, but, um, this is mainly for my Pokemon openings. I kind of, honestly, I'm really sorry about like kind of low-key quitting this channel. I just, Pokemon got so expensive and I just honestly have been saving up my money and buying Pokemon cards lately for the openings. Pokemon got so expensive to open up, um, not to mention the shortage lately, so it's very uh, on top of the prices of Pokemon right now, it's hard to even find Pokemon cards and then also get my camera set up and open them for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my voice again. I sure enjoyed filming this. Honestly, it brings joy to my day to be filming again. Um, but I can't explain how much I like these um, sleeves, but <laughs> not the point. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll take another look at the cards. I didn't get to open up on camera. This is just an old card, but the cards I didn't get to open up on camera for you guys. Sorry about that. But, yeah. Really proud of this front card, though. Favorite card right now. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you'd like to trade for any of those cards right there. Um, uh, some will be for sale. Not as much, um, though. Definitely not as much. Um, trying to get more trade. Possibly sales, but not nearly, again, not nearly as much. So just please let me know. Uh, message me, DM me. My Instagram, Discord, and uh, everything. My Instagram and Discord will be in the description down below. <sighs> and 
if you don't have any of those you can comment on youtube but it's going to be very hard to contact you unless you just straight up give me your phone number um but yeah um either of those i'm not going to give out my phone number unless you want to trade or just give me yours but um yeah mainly instagram i'll try to do discord um i can do discord but mainly instagram if you don't have instagram though i completely understand so or, or just um I would probably first comment and then, you know, tell me you're adding me on Instagram or whatever and I'll follow you back. I follow all my Instagram followers back. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you all. Uh, let me know if you want to trade and uh, peace out. Love you guys.